Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this one, this camera feels way too low. There we go. Uh, hello. So basically, today, um, I've decided that I wanted to try something out with Behemoth. Now, we all know that Morphezu is by far the best Titan fossil, and when I made my tier list or my opinions on them, I think I did Morphezu, Leviatros, Behemoth. So, now I'm thinking, what? Okay, now it's too high. Blech. There we go. So, now I was thinking, okay, if I think Behemoth is the worst, what am I exactly doing wrong? So, I decided I'm going to play it exactly how I would play Morphezu. To the T. Exactly how I would play a Morphezu. Just a different typing, and I melee. That's all I got to work with right we have our health family here to recover just like i like to do with morfezu we have bulk up slumber which is nice then we have an attacking move and then i honestly do not know which one would be better between primal slash and earth uh, primal slash and timber thrash i'm trying to think because if you run timber thrash you can't hit plant types and primal slash does allow you to hit ancient and does allow you neutral coverage unless this thing has mega chomp but I don't think that it does. We are going to give this a check. If it does, then I'm going to go grab Mega Chomp. But I do not think that it does. No, it has Driving Force. It has Spare. Yo. But yeah, um, pretty much the idea today is I have the exact same TVs as I do on my Morphezu. This allows you to speed creep, um, Nimble, uh, uh, Nimble, uh, Soul Burst Erupted on, so you always outspeed it. And we have maximum melee attack investment, so we hit as hard as possible. And then 128 health is just leftovers, and then 4 energy. If I, if I use this right, it should function pretty much exactly as Morphezu. The difference is, Morphezu's air-type moves have no immunities. Whereas Behemoth has an immunity, which is air. So we need to play a little bit more carefully around that. So we have stuff like Ika. We also got um, Elephage, which can, which can beat those things. So hopefully we can do a, a little good against it. But yeah, hopefully that you all enjoy, and let's get right into it. Alrighty, here we go, into the first battle. So, the first thing we want to look at is how many air types are there to be immune to our earthquake. So, now that we see that there are there is nothing that can beat it, we also want to cry because we can't beat the uh, wrestle in, but we'll figure it out. Pretty sure Ika does outspeed it, and we can beat it that way. Hopefully. Uh... Mm, mm, mm. Mm, it's not good. It's not. It's not good. We can do this for Luminami. Um, and then do we go Elephage? I think Elephage does work really well here. One big problem right now is a Deladrix, right? Now, Deladrix is definitely going to be a problem, which I don't think I'm going to win this game. I have a really bad matchup into it. So, is this fine? I don't know, it's Sherbot. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, mean, I know what's go. Do you see the problem? Because I do. My Ika does not have boots. Okay. They're gonna out of order with Frost Shell. Or just get frost shell. Yeah, now they're dead. They have double speed, so that provoke was useless. I was assuming palm, palm chocolate bar, but that also works. It was one of the two. It's fine. This doesn't take any damage. It's it's a lachet. We're gonna take like thirty percent. Um, this is not not a good start. That was not 30% of my health. I thought it was going to be 30% of my health, but it was not. This thing has so much freaking speed, I can't do anything. My Ika is not boots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it has out of order. This is a terrible start. This is an awful start. This is just terrible. This is just awful. I don't have boots on my Ika. I'm getting cooked by a Sherbot. Turn one. This is not going very well. That's for sure. It's not going very well to start, but we will kill this thing. Okay, the non-boots Ika. Why would they do that when I have fire breath? Do you think we kill? 
I gotta kill, right? I mean, no, it's it's clearly a, a clever Tyrex. Okay. We just revealed that we're not boots. I would have killed. Got it. Okay, uh, they're gonna Vice Jaws. Let's go this. They're gonna Vice Jaws. They're gonna Vice Jaws. They're gonna Vice Jaws. They're going to Vice Jaws. They're going to Vice Jaws. Even if they don't, I lower their melee attack, so I take nothing from Earthquake. Frick. Um. Okay. Well, we know an earthquake is coming, so let's just go into the Behemoth that takes nothing. We can also go into this, I guess. This is also this also works in making it a, a layer of barbs up to break clutch plushies, and then we lose to Deladrix. I mean, we can't beat Deladrix, so we lose entirely to the Deludrix. So we're gonna have to deal with that. We lose literally entirely to Deladrix. I have nothing for it. This is why. It's Banned! Because it's broke it, not- I don't know, I guess it is broken, huh? I guess I was wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, uh, it's not Vice Jaws, but we can go Behemoth, and then we could probably bulk up, but the problem with that is there is a Deladrix, which, looking at my team that I currently have at my disposal, I can't do anything. So we're just gonna Earthquake and hope that they didn't bring it. That's all I can really do is just Earthquake and hope they did not bring Deludrix because if they did, I'm cooked. Do I not just outspeed this and murder in one singular blow? You don't outspeed me. This does not. This is like 73 speed. Yeah, you're just dead. Gorgeous. What a dub. Okay. Behemoth is cooking. Here's the thing. If I was Morfezu, I would have clicked Palm on the Tyrex, and I would have been fine. Well, there's a wrestling. They're gonna rogue, right? I live rogue. And an earthquake. This is the literally the only thing that I need to kill. But they have Deladrix in the back, so I, I, I've already lost, so. It's already wraps. Yeah, no, it's just, it's so Jover. The only thing that I can do is hope that the Deladrix is not Boots, because they're wrestling as Boots. And then, um, I can kill it with this. I honestly am just gonna sack the Ika, because maybe Behemoth is useful. This might be a horrible idea, but I'm gonna freaking do it anyway, because I don't care. I, I've completely lost. Um, it's not great. I brought an entire team weak to ice, and then they brought a Sherbot, so... That's what we're dealing with right now. I do replicate Ace, but I just zip zap anyway, so. The only thing that we can hope for is that they have Deladrix, but it's clutch plushy. Never mind. All right, I switched my team around a little bit because I'm not dealing with wrestling anymore. And now I can't deal with the Land Torch because I decided to leave Celesting behind. So over. I have boots this time though, so maybe that'll that'll change stuff. Let's do this, do this. Do this. The one problem here is there are a few things that can actually pretty much stop me. There's no air type though, but there is a Garbantis, which how do I switch into it? I don't. I need Ika. It's a requirement. I, I lose to Land Torch. I need to keep this as I need to keep this thing. Maybe I don't leave with this. I think I need to actually keep this thing around. Maybe I just what if I just freaking do Behemoth? No, they're gonna they're gonna go. I'm just gonna do this. This makes the most sense to lead with. Maybe it's Zulong lead. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna go awfully wrong. Okay. Flash and flee because it's just gonna go for a flash and flee themselves. They would never flare because it's stupid because I have a land torch right there. They would actually just go for fire because I have a land torch. Lashent, not land torch. This tape. Stupid tape. I'm sorry. My worst. Did I break? No, I didn't break it. This is stupid. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, it is flash and flee. Get predicted. I think they go into Garbantis assuming I zip zap. I, I absolutely require Gargolem speed to have its clutch plushie up, or the game is just over. 
I am so in I'm, I'm intelligent. Okay. Big damage. Let's do this. Um. 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 I have an idea. Does Ika have 30% more range attack than this? 30%. Uh, yes, Flash and Flea does kill. Oh, it was do or... No, no, no. It does kill. I calculated do or die. Because 30% 100, of 150 is something like... 40-ish something. No, yeah, 44-ish, maybe. Did I get that right? Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. What is 30% of 150? It's 45. Bro, I was... I was like 44-something. I was literally a number off. Okay, uh, this does kind of invite the land torch in to click fire breath, but then they're just gonna go for flare because they assume I go Ika on the fire breath to be immune to it, so they get the kill on the Ika. So then, then, then I stay and I slap down and I win the game. I'm going for it. I think they just go land torch. I'm gonna go for a huge IQ move here because I need if I I got rid of the Garbantis, which is really good into. What if they think this is the Lashent that I showcased a little bit ago? The one that's like stall? That makes sense. They're gonna brawn boost though. Better not be rageful plushie. <laughs> they, uh, okay, they actually just go straight up for the move. And I actually just live. So if this is rageful plushie... Okay, um... Do they just want to lose Chianta immediately? Because I'm so up for that. I'm so up to just kill the Chianta. But to be honest, I do not think that's happening. I think they just switch, but they can't. They have Yursel, Land Torch, and they don't want to risk me just fading away. No, they go Yursel here, stay in, because they're assuming I'm going to predict them switching out. Kill Chianta. Woo! We crit it. That crit doesn't matter now. Okay. Let's let's see. We kill the Chienta, which outspeeds and threatens Behemoth. We kill the Garbanus, which outspeeds and threatens the Behemoth. We need to just kill the Land Torch. And we have Primal Slash for this Yursel. I outspeed this. I think I do. Um, what if I just go Behemoth? Like, you can't switch your Land Torch in. I'm just gonna go Behemoth and Earthquake. I don't need to Primal Slash because then it can risk the Land Torch coming in. This is gonna do half anyway. Yeah, there's the half. Slap Down is fine. We lose a solid amount of health. Behemoth should get Sleep Talk. That'd be awesome. Just kill this thing. I could have also bulked up here, but it doesn't do anything. It just I just lose more health than the Behemoth. We get the kill on the Ursul without having to get Ika chipped. And so far, our plan of wait until, um, currently our plan of keeping, um, the Gargolem speed alive with Clutch Plushy to beat the Land Torch is working. Because he, he's lost, what, Garbantis, Chienta, Ursul. He's lost three things, and he has two left, one of them is Land Torch. The last one he has is Zuelon, okay. Well, we're gonna explode. And then if I just go Ika, I flash, right? No, I go this. And then I final ruse, which doesn't... Which, eh. I mean, uh, Behemoth dies to anything, right? Even if I slap down to get rid of the boots on the Land Torch, I don't know how to speed with Behemoth. <sighs> I cannot reveal Jet or I lose the game. If I go this, I can flash. And I underspeed, so I get big damage. Then I go Ika, then I flash. I get awake. Uh, I get up. I get awakening from this, so. <clears throat> Alright. There's Ancient Roar. 
No, I can't go the... I was gonna go Gargolem now, but I can't do that. Oh, but they just flare. They just flare. They can just flare because it's Land Torch. And they're just gonna flare, aren't they? Wait, they lose if they flare. They lose. They need to flash and flee. They flare, they lose. They know. They know that flash and fleeing there was the best move. What if I set up a final ruse right now? I need to chip this zoo long enough. If I set up a final ruse in the ancient roar again. Now they can't kill me, so I get to rejuvenate. And I, I can live any hit. Hmm. This is very scary to play around because I would need Mudslide to kill in this range. Like, Mudslide plus Slapdown wins the game. The problem is, if my Clutch Plushie's broken on Gargolem, then I, comp I just lose on the spot. Immediately I lose. Hmm. No, if they flare, they lose, right? If they flare, they lose the game, I think. If they flare, I go Gargolem speed, and then Slapdown plus Mudslide should be enough to kill the Zulong. But if not, then I lose the Elephage, which I need alive. I'm gonna wait, because if he uses enough flares... If he flares, he loses. I think he loses. I think he loses. I think he does. I don't think he has enough. He loses, I think. Unless he goes for a rest here, then I get an awakening boosted zip zap on him. Which is really good. Would be a really, really strong zip zap to go for. Okay, I, I am 99% sure that he lost. At this point, I just click landslide. No, landslide, mudslide, and it kills. I had to keep this around. Flare. <sighs> yep. He lost. Oh my god. Ugh! Like, Behemoth is so good into melee teams. If you can get one bulk up, it's so freaking bulky. Why am I orange? I thought I was, it was supposed to shine like this. But no, it's this light. Let me try this theory that I have, actually, where if I turn this off, turn it back on... Am I blue now? No, I'm still orange. I don't really care anymore. It's my trademark is being orange, right? <sighs> close game. Very close game. Okay, so no. Slapdown plus Mudslide was not enough. But they don't have enough damage. They do not have enough damage. They, that that Kamunga Coffee better not be enough, man. I know Flash of Flea kills, but that better have not been enough. It, it definitely is enough, but... Oh my god. Sheesh! <laughs> <gasps> My god! The things I have to do to play around Land Torch when I just don't have a counter to it, there's... Anyway, we're fighting the exact same team. Um, well, we know what we're doing. We're going back to the, the first plan. Um, there's also a bezel to maybe I can just go, but I don't got or then I just go into this as the lead because it is a fine lead and then what else do I freaking do because this game seems impossible to win. I mean, they're gonna bring Land Torch because it's Land Torch. The thing is, I have two immunities. I just have to call out the moves. I gotta, the thing is, it's such a dangerous game to play. I gotta call out these moves. Zip Zap and Protagon is so freaking good. Oh my god, 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 oh my god,
Lashent. Well, we're gonna copy Petrifying, so take that, little idiot. Little idiot. <laughs> Get Petrifying. Well, Slapdown's coming, so... Let's just go our own Lashent and then Icicle Trap. Why not? Unless they Icicle Trap with their Lashent, then we just lose the game on the spot. No, we'd have to send Ika in twice. Okay, let's do this instead, because maybe they would have plant. What if they sat plant for some reason? He's minus two. <laughs> Earthquake? What? What is that little blue? Anyway, they're going to go into their Garbantis. Do I fade away? Ice Trap first. They are they are full offense Lashent, man. They're out here to do damage, and that's it. Well, I can just rejuvenate, right? <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I think it's because the further back I am, maybe I should turn autofocus on. Let's see what that does. Let me go into this thing, this little editor. Uh, let's do this. Image, focus. Oh, it is on. Well, it's not working. What did he do? I wasn't looking. Did he earthquake? Let's fade away. Because he's going to rest here. Yes. Okay, so then we can then go into Ika, which has a fire breath. Which is really strong into their team. Bezel do the only switch. Um, yeah, this I think Ika's our best play. I could also go Behemoth, but then I bulk up and then I don't do enough damage to break through it. I think Ika's the move that I zip zap because they would never go Garbantis. That's stupid. Um, and then I, if they do go Garbantis, then I'm screwed. But we'll figure it out. They're gonna switch. I, I definitely think they're gonna switch. They're gonna switch into either Bezel do or Land Torch. Or they're going to stay in an Earthquake because they are overconfident. Or they're going to Ice Hammer. It's one of the two. Whatever, I don't freaking care anymore. Kumbaya! Kumbaya! What do I do against an insane... Land Torch. Not freaking Land Torch. Lashen. Fine. If you really want me to kill you with fire breath if you really want to stay in for this long i got critically striked my lachent is absolutely useless anyway i can switch into the land torch and maybe stop a flare then rest and get all my health back but okay die then if, you're, if you really want to die just die my god, why was he so intent on staying in for so long? The crit mattered, by the way. I didn't, I didn't kill it if I didn't crit. He was so intent on staying in. I honestly think that 100%, if I just get a light that's not orange and it's like a blue light, everything gonna be happy. Well, guess what we can go into here? We can go into Behemoth. They're gonna mudslide, actually. Let's do this first. I want to keep these Icicle Traps up in case for their Garbantis, which is their only good switch into Behemoth. Freaking scary! Behemoth! Let's go and do it. Should be fine. Is he messaging me? Oh, he is. Oh, it's not listening. What's happening? I'm back. She poisoned me! Anyway, let's go for an earthquake because they physically can't switch into this. Yeah, they can't really switch into this. Can they? Mwah. Goodbye, Venolin. Deserved. Okay! I mean, again, using it like Morfezu, it's working. It, it, it do be working. Whoa. 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 I 
This is gonna battle chime. Just go to this. I mean, what are they gonna do? Gnarly Gash for half my health? No! This, is, this doesn't even learn Gnarly Gash. Why'd my TV turn on? This, I, Eek has died. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go for the ice boo. Well, there's another slap down coming. Hopefully, this is at least half. Oh, frick. Okay, I have a plan. It's not a good one, but it's a plan. And it's in the works. you can I crit <laughs> maybe it was a low roll Here's just another slap down. I don't know why people message me whenever I were fighting. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I guess it sort of makes a little bit of sense, but like, just fight. I'm not replying to you. Oh my god, everything's gone so wrong so quickly. I did not expect Rageful Plushie. I expected that to do half. I didn't think he was going to slap down on the Behemoth. It could just Earthquake, do half his health, and he just dies. I didn't expect many things to happen, and I don't honestly know how we're going to win now, because it is not looking good in the slightest, and if it is um, Bezeldu and um, Land Torch, then um, we can actually um, win. Potentially, maybe, somehow, can we? Break. What do I do? What do I do? Go through every calculation in my head. If it's Land Torch Bezel do, we can win. If it's Land Torch Bezel do, we can win. If they just go Bezel do here though. But this can't kill it, and if this loses any amount of health, it's just over. But I can't go and wait! I replicate trash armor! Humans are a failed species. <laughs> Why did I fight so many Garbantuses? So many land torches! I'm gonna lose my mind. This is stupid. This is just stupid. It's just stupid. Too many counters to what I'm trying to do. And I have to fight Rageful Plushy freaking Cram Boss. And then... Why did I not just go into the freaking Lashen? I could have just done that and I would have been fine. Like that was just an option and everyone had a freaking land torch today because land torch is broken and for some reason it hasn't been nerfed when flare is a 140 base power move that can't miss and is boosted by stab is boosted by